I'm Shannon Fallon. I'm here to invite you to learn more about the Dillon Open. This is the Dillon Yacht Club's annual race that happens the first weekend in August of every single year. And I've got some great guests coming up to talk a little bit more about it, get more in depth, and we'll have more information for you as well. So standing right next to me is James Welch, and he is the director for the Dillon Yacht Club Junior Sailing Program. This has been going on since 2005. Tell me a little bit about what the program is in and of itself. Well, we're a nonprofit, and the goal is just to get kids on the water, experiencing the lake, experiencing the mountain lifestyle, and just meeting new people that they wouldn't normally meet. These juniors can participate in the Dillon Open. Yes, we have a different course that the juniors can use, which is a little easier, out of the wind a little bit more. All the same racing rules apply, and they're just in a little bit of a smaller boat, and the course fits the size of the boat, so they can get enough races in to make it a good regatta, yeah. As you guys start the program in, in the early summer, not all the kids choose to race. About 40 to 50% move into racing and the other half just enjoy sailing as a what's, recreational sport. What's not to enjoy? Exactly. <laughs> and exactly kids one. come in from all over the country to do this, don't they? Yeah, a lot of kids come in from Denver. We have some kids from Park City. And what a great, safe way to experience this high altitude lift. Yes, we love it. <laughs> yeah. All right, James, we appreciate it. Thank you so much Thank for you. stopping by. Thank you. In just a minute, we're going to have one of the junior sailors, his name is Mason Mitchell, comes all the way over from Eagle to do this program, and we're super excited to have him talk about the experience that he's had um, in getting ready for the race. You've been racing for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, do you think it comes as a surprise to people who haven't been able to do this and experience these winds that all of a sudden they turn? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's way different from sailing in a coastal environment <laughs> right. or even in, like in a lower elevation. I mean that's a pretty big advantage for you to be able to yeah. have trained here. Mm -hmm. How often do you have to be over here to train? I've been training almost every week this month, Monday through Friday. No kidding. Mm -hmm. And well worth it. You love it. Yeah, I love it. You love it's it. super fun. Yeah. How long have you been sailing? I've been sailing for two years. And what got you interested, especially all the way over here? I'm not really sure what got me interested. I just wanted to try it. Yeah. yeah. And now you are not only competing, but you're also an instructor. Yes, I am. Okay, and what do you race? What boat? I race the RS Terra. It's a nine foot small boat. And are you on it by yourself? Yes, it's a one person boat. Do you feel like you're ready? I feel very ready. Do yeah. you? I just raced in the 2016 Junior Olympics. No this weekend. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. How'd you do? I tied for fourth. In Fantastic. Class. Well, good job. Thank you. So give me your biggest sell on why you think people should get involved in the juniors program. It's a great way to learn how to sail and once you learn how to sail here, you can learn how to sail pretty much anywhere. It's just a really great learning experience. How amazing would it be to catch Mason? Um, just whipping around the lake. How does that sound? This is Wayne Sauer and he's the Vice Commodore for the Dillon Yacht Club. As Vice Commodore, you get to help organize all of this. My responsibility is to go out there and organize the entire Dillon Open. The um, entire thing. Which is well, the largest in the region and one of the largest, period. Uh, there's typically over 100 boats in incredible setting and it's also the highest uh, regatta in the country. And uh, luckily though, I don't have to do it all because I've got a lot of fantastic volunteers that have done an amazing awesome. job for me. It's very challenging. You have all these different valleys that come and meet. And it's kind of interesting because you'll actually have two spinnakers coming towards oh each other. Gosh. And when you're in one of those spinnakers, you're kind of worried that yours is going to collapse. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you go, yeah, when it, it doesn't. Exactly, yes. The atmosphere is spectacular. It's fun, it's festive. I mean, it really is such a cool event. It's just amazing. Usually you have lasers all lined up on the shore. Uh, every Saturday we have uh, a great party. It's just uh, an incredible time. It's one of the best regattas that I've attended. So we will also want to mention that when you come out for the Open that you can be on a spectator boat. The reason why you'd really want to be on a spectator boat is because it's just incredible to see uh, 10, 15, 20 sailboats come to the line all together. And so you, you can look right down the line and see all these and sailboats. And you think no way. You really can't, you can see it from shore, uh, but you really can't appreciate the, the beauty, the majesty, as well as the amount of teamwork that it requires to get that to happen. And we do want to mention that there are places all around uh, the reservoir that people can watch from. We yes. do recommend that you be very careful and make sure that you're pulled totally off the road. Because it, I'm telling you, even on all the years that I've been able to watch, um, you can pull around a corner and all of a sudden you see everything going on and, it, and your jaw drops because right. it's beautiful and it's, it's spectacular and you think, wow. Uh, you can get spectator boats. There's going to be a Dillon open tent that's uh, right next to the marina office. You can buy them on, uh, on site and you can also go to dillonopen.com. That'll lead you to everything that you need, whether you want to um, come to the dinner, whether you want to participate or just get some more information about everything that's going on. Yep. 
Wayne, this is pretty exciting. We want to remind everybody that the Dillon Open does happen every first weekend in August, and it's really so much fun. So we recommend that you come out. For all the information that you need, go to DillonOpen.com.